Anyway, back to basketball. Ron Harper Jr. starting it off for the Scarlet Knights on the baseline. Not going to go in Mulcahy. He'll start. I like that move from Ayala. He didn't get it to drop, but he was in a high performance, high percentage shot. Forcing almost 15 turnovers a game early in the season, holding their opponents to under 38% shooting. I saw there. Paul McKay, he faked like he was going to come double team. He left. Scott waited for, waited for him to leave, and he got it off the glass. So they've spent a lot of time watching Rutgers and Maryland in various sports this weekend. Yes, sir. And a nice move by Aaron Wigan. Go off the bounce a lot. That's a good addition to his game. With his long frame and being 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, and Geo Baker for Scarlet Knights basketball team. Well, when you see that graphic, Kevin, and you look at the veteran nature of this club, that's where it would be like that. Then I had a little bit of game, but I can't get the, the gold highlights. I, it just doesn't work for me. Well, I, I can't do any of it, so. Okay, he three to shoot. Oh, what a feed to Miles Johnson for the two-hand flush. that Rutgers was able to win in Geo Baker's absence. Geo Baker, he probably thinks he can play 40 minutes right now, so. Young baseline, dump down, and the two-hand flush for Amori. Grown accustomed to see him be, especially on this end of the court. Miles Johnson, big man with the feed to the cutting, Ron Harper Jr. So I, I don't know if that's a habit or whatnot, but he is usually a lot more aggressive. Oh, speaking of aggressive, Young to Amori for the two-hand flush. Young smiles, he's having fun. He shares pleasantries with his opponents. Well, Harper, two for six from the floor. Here comes Maryland again with Hakeem Hart. Smith to the rim, and Smith with a two-hand flush. There, can't just step away and allow the dunk. Maryland on a 7 nothing run. Here's Harper trying to stop it, and he does with a three in the corner. Like you said, Kevin, some hard-nosed, physical, tough defense on both ends. Nice feed from Hamilton. Bound Harper. They'll go end-to-end, -end, but it's poke three. Good work from behind, and now he's going to head to Morcell, and Morcell brings Maryland within a pair. Working inside, the hook falls for Dante Scott, and for the first time since 9-8, Maryland has the lead. One point lead for Maryland, Ayala to bring it up. Dante Scott launching from deep, and he hits the three. The With all of his skill set, you have to respect his ball handling ability and his size. He hits a three, that's, tough to, that's a tough defend. Marcel. Can't get that one to fall. Omori with the start to Harper. Trailing is Young using his speed off the window, and he got the roll. We're tied at 31. Dante Scott is to their success. Yeah, 10 points tonight, six rebounds as well, as Harper will launch, and the three falls from the top. He's got 13. Geo Baker back out on the floor for Rutgers, matching up with Ayala. Alone inside, what a feed, and Galen Smith. Harper the handoff to Baker, he'll step back for three, and he hits. 33, Scarlet Knights two for two from deep in this half after going two for eight from behind the arc in the first half. Oh. Ayala challenging Johnson inside, gets the bucket and the foul on Miles Johnson. In, he's been able to prevail. Like this one to be very simple. Mathis. Mathis scooping that one up. Harper off the fake pass. Drives down the lane. He gets the bucket and the foul. Egan scoring at 26 the last time out against Syracuse. Here's Ayala probing again. No, the tip try, yes. For Rutgers. Here's Harper with the pivot. Left short. Johnson did not. And Johnson. Baker around the Johnson screen. 
Baker from the elbow fades away for a pair. He's got eight. Effective tonight, eight points off the bench in his return after the ankle injury in the opener. Rotation around to Harper in the corner. The open three falls for Harper, who has 19. Between Mamadou Ducore and Miles Johnson. As that's short with Harper grabbing it. Quick push ahead. There's Miles Johnson with the easy deuce. And off the inbound, Scott Young with the shot clock at 12. Young working. Ayala with the strip. Baker with six to shoot. Harper for three. As Rutgers runs the other way with Young. Young drives. Young finishes. But it was a, a happy ending, luckily for Rutgers. Hamilton trying to work around Johnson. They're not getting a lot out of their half-court sets right now. Just six of 18 from the floor in the second half. Big acceleration. Young almost got the steal. 15 to shoot for Maryland. Wiggins backs it out. Set three up and down for Dante Scott. Gonna need every one of those here. Cut to this Jepson. Trying to answer Geo Baker banking at home. Scott's had the hot hand. Wiggins lost it on the way in. The push. What a feed. Mathis, no. And a foul. Nope. They're going to count the bucket. A goaltend. Trying to use the window again. Not going to get that bank the second time tonight. Ayala up the floor, leaves behind. The trailing three is short for Morcel. The tip try and a foul. That had been a strength of Maryland for most of this early season, 41% from three, but they've been cold tonight. Baker to work. Here's Harper, a deep three. Got the open look, and like he's done all night, he's not been cold from three. Trying to answer off the heel. Rebound corralled by Dante Scott to Hamilton for three. There's the answer that Maryland wanted. Stays at nine. Now Smart on the bench with four fouls after that exchange. Rutgers with Harper going to work down the right side of the lane. Harper got the rim roll and it for Ron Harper Jr. Dante Scott is 230 and strong and Harper made him look like a little kid at the high and let him go to work. Scott going to work against Harper, trying to lean in for contact, and Scott muscling that one up and in. Teen in this second half. Baker with five to shoot. Baker at the foul line. Bennett remaining in this one, and the Scarlet Knights trying to knock off Maryland on their home floor. The three, up and down, and that might be the dagger. Jacob Young from three. Last year's squad, which was likely bound for the NCAA tournament. Long skip ahead, there's Johnson with the exclamation point. Scott loses the handle on it, Rutgers going the other way. This is Jacob Young, and Young getting into the act with a two-hand stuff to Johnson. Johnson will bounce it, 10 seconds left, and Rutgers is gonna dribble this one out. Stephen Bardo, this is an impressive road win for the Scarlet Knights. You hold the Maryland Terrapins of 60 points on their home floor. Come in and dominate the, lat the latter half of this game.